Hello, dear students. I am Dr. Wale Talat. I will teach you the online course Labor Economics for the third year English credit students, economics major. Well, ده هيبقى ال ال lecture ديت هتبقى review for what we already covered in the previous weeks. زي ما احنا عارفين الكتاب بتاعنا اسمه Modern Labor Economics Theory and Public Policy دوت the thirteenth edition. This is for Ronald Ehrenberg and Robert Smith. And الكتاب ده mostly it summarizes the concepts of the theory of the labor market. We بيعلم ال students is they how to evaluate the public uh, policy, the programs, uh, through uh, seeing these concepts in action. So, okay, let's start with uh, the chapter outline. Uh, the uh, basic concepts you have to understand quite well, uh, how to differentiate between the positive economics and normative economics in labor economics. So the positive economics, we will cover the model and the production of the positive economics, and then we will move to the normative economics, and we have to understand well the difference between the positive and normative, and the government policy or the kind of the government interventions that uh, the government can do in the labor market. Then we will see the difference between the efficiency versus the equity, and finally the applications of those concepts, uh, how the uh, economists actually test the hypothesis presented in this chapter. طيب هنبتدي بأول حاجة the labor market. Uh, labor market هنفهم الأول يعني إيه labor market يعني إيه سوق العمل. ومهم جدا ان احنا نفهم ان ال employment relationship دي is one of the most fundamental relationship in our life عشان كده في قوانين العمل ومهم جدا ان انا ابقى فاهمة سوق العمل the knowledge نفسه of the fundamental of the labor economics is very essential عشان اقدر ان انا افهم ال social programs and the problems نفسها in any country Fell economists who are actively involved in the analysis and the evaluation of the public policy believe that in the labor economics is useful in understanding the effects of this program. So what is the labor market? Labor market is unique in several ways. I will have the the labor service can only be rented because workers cannot be bought and sold, so they can only be rented. And second thing is that the labor service cannot be separated from the workers نفسهم. فعندي مهمة جدا ال conditions اللي بيشتغل فيها العامل نفسه وبنسميها non pecuniary factors. And we give a lot of examples during the lectures about the non pecuniary factors of him that in the non pecuniary factors مهمة بالضبط زي the wage. Non pecuniary factors is a result of the flexibility of the working hours, their perceptions of fair treatment, personalities of managers, risk of injury, and the environment that the employee. So, under which such services are rented are often as important as the price, and here is the price we are referring to the wages that the employee is receiving from the employer. So the circumstances under which employer and employee rental labor service clearly constitute uh, uh, the labor market maps. فانا عندي ثلاث حاجات بيبقوا موجودين اول حاجة عندي institutions institutions عندي اللي اعلانات بحاول ان انا اربط ازاي اربط ما بين ال employer نفسه و ال potential employee اللي عايز يشتغل عن طريق مثلا advertisement عن طريق websites بتسهل في التوظيف انا بحط ال application بتاعي و صاحب العمل نفسه بيبتدي يدور على ال qualifications اللي هو عايزها في ال website نفسه او يدي ال website نفسه السبيسيفيكيشن اللي هو عايزها فالويب سايت يساعده فدي عباره كل ده عباره عن انستيتيوشنز او شركات تشتغل اتش ار لي ان هي تعمل اوت سورسنج ل للشركات اللي محتاجه موظفين طيب اول حاجه عندي انستيتيوشنز فهمناها اللي هي بتربط ما بين الامبلوي والامبلوير تاني حاجة عندي ال information information about the price and the quality which is exchanged in the employment application or interview. We can mean ساعة لما بيعملوا advertisement نفسه. 
لما الامبلوير يبتدي يعمل ادفرتايزمنت يحط لي سالري يحط لي كواليفيكيشنز اللي هو عايزها يحط لي الديوريشن بتاع الكونتراكت يحط لي كل الانفورميشن اللي انا عايزاها وبعد كده ساعه الانترفيو نبتدي نكسشينج البريفيوس سالري بتاعك ايه الاكسبكتد سالري ايه السالري اللي انت فعلا هتاخده ايه وبعد كده هو ده كل الانفورميشنز اللي انا ببقى محتاج ان انا ابقى عارفاها بعد يبقى الانستيتيوشنز اللي هي بتربط ما بين الامبلوير والامبلوي وبعد كده الانفورميشن اباوت ذس جوب كلها من اولها لاخرها وبعد كده يحصل لو انا خلاص انا اتفقت انا كامبلوير والامبلوي نفسه اتفقنا خلاص على كل التفاصيل بعمل الكونتراكت بين بوث بارتس اللي هو بحدد فيه بقى السبيل اوت بقى الكومبنسيشن فور ذا الوركينج كونديشنز تايب الجوب ايه والكونتراكت قد ايه كل الكلام الانفورميشن اللي احنا وي اكسشينجد اوريدي واجريد ابون بنبتدي نحطها في العقد وبنمضي عليه So the definition of the labor economics is the study of the working of the market for labors which is primarily concerned with the behavior of the employer and the employees in response to the wage, the price, the profit, the non-pecuniary aspects of the employment relationship. The labor economics can be done at two levels. The first level is positive economics, and the second level or level ten is normative economics. Positive economics is what is it? What is the social relations in the labor market? Normative economics: what should be, what ought to be. So the you already had to the positive and normative economics, but in the first one, generally. إنما هنا إحنا بنستخدم الـ positive والـ normative economics application بقى على الـ labor market نفسها فعندي الـ positive economics is using the mood of the analysis while the normative economics we are focusing على الـ analysis to judge طيب زي ما احنا قلنا إن الـ labor economics can be conducted on two levels فأول level عندي الـ positive economics والتاني normative وحنشوفه بعد شوية الـ positive economics is the theory of the behavior in which the people are assumed to respond a kid favorably to the benefit way negatively للـ cause and underlining the theory they had في basic assumption اللي هو الـ scarcity و rationality ودي من سنة أولى أنتوا عارفين إن the economic problem is uh, عندي unlimited wants and needs طبعا ال wants غير needs وعندي ال scarcity between the unlimited wants and needs وال scarcity people tend to make the choices بتاعتها وال choices دي دايما تبقى based على ال rationality فال two basic assumptions here for the positive economics is the scarcity and the rationality Uh, which underlining the economic theory. So now we are talking about the model and the prediction of the positive uh, economics. The behavioral prediction in uh, the uh, people tend to behave uh, favorably to the benefits and negatively to the uh, costs. This behavioral uh, prediction in economics flow more or less directly from two fundamental assumptions, the scarcity and rationality. Due to the scarcity, workers continue to make choices such as looking for other jobs, accept over time, move to another area, or acquire more education. Not just the workers or the employees who make choices, but also the employers also make choices. The level of the output, the input mix in the production, on the end to produce this desirable level of output. So economists argue that the theory which is underlining the positive economics should be judged on the basis of its uh, uh, predictions, not on its uh, uh, assumptions, where the choices with decisions made by the employee or employers are guided by their desire, and lay in the employer his desire to maximize the profit, while the employee his desire is to maximize the utility. So any attempt to explain a complex set of behavior and outcomes using a few fundamental influences lead to the creation of a model. أنا ما أقدرش أقيس the relationship between two variables without creating a model نفسها. 
فانا عندي انا لو في مثلا في لاب ولا حاجه وكيمست مثلا انا لازم بيبقى عندي التست تيوب بيبقى انا كنترول ذا انفايرمنت بقدر اشوف الريليشن شيب ما بين لو انا عندي عايزه اشوف مثلا يعني اكزامبل ريليشن شيب ما بين ان انا عندي كوك وعندي المنتوس هحط مانتوس في الكوك هيحصل اكسبلوجن هشوف الهايت بتاع الاكسبلوجن دوت وانا متاكده ان انا في كنترول ذا انفايرمنت ده الموديل بتاعي فانا هقدر اقيس كل شويه احط 1 مانتوس 2 مانتوس وافضل اقيس الهايت فهطلع كالكوليشنز عندي مثلا الفيزيكال موديل مثلا فيزيستس مثلا الفيزيستس كان يوز السيمبل كالكوليشنز عشان يقيسوا الفيلوسيتي والجرافيتيشنال ده اكزامبل يعني الفيلوسيتي والجرافيتيشنال بول تو بريدكت وير ذا بول ويل فول اف اتس كيكد ويز ا سيرتن فورسز ات ا جيفن انجل تو ذا جراوند Even though the predictions دي ما بتبقاش accurate due to the other forces بتبقى مش موجودة في calculations ولكن هم بيبقوا focusing على إن أنا عايز أعرف the average tendencies بتاعة الالتكم فهو ده الكور بتاع إن أنا بكريت the model in the labor by economics or the labor market We, uh, we are trying to create the economic model to grasp the assumption of the predictions of the economic models with respect to the uh, scarcity and the rationality. فأنا لو أنا بتكلم على labor market أنا عندي two sides. واحد اللي هو ال employee والside الثاني اللي هو ال employer. ال employee عايز إيه؟ عايز to maximize his utility أو her utility. We ال employer عايز to maximize the profit. So the employee can assert that being subject to the resource scarcity, عايز to prefer the high paying jobs عن the low paying jobs. If all other jobs characteristics طبعا the same. Which is highlighting the main thing here is maximizing utility. So the employee wants to maximize the utility. نيجي للسايد تاني بتاع الماركت اللي هو عبارة عن ال employer أو صاحب العمل. صاحب العمل عايز إيه؟ He wants to assert that the firm need to make the profits to survive. So they have, if they have the high turnover, ده معناه ده cost بالنسبة له. مش ممكن إن هو يدرب ناس وبعد كده الناس تروح ماشية، لا هو عايز يدرب الناس والناس to sustain عنده علشان يبقى مقلل ال cost بتاعته. In order to maximize the profits of that, so I have two highlights for the site of the labor market itself, which is maximizing the utility and maximizing the profits. So we note several important things about the assertion of the utility maximization and the profit maximization. Employees and employers are both mindful of their scarce resources and are therefore on the lookout for chances to improve their well-being. And there is a negative relationship between the wage and the voluntary uh, turnover by holding other things uh, uh, equal. The relationship is always supported by the empirical uh, studies and the assumption of the theory concerns the individual behavior of the employers with employee, well, can, but the productions are about an aggregate relationship between the wage and the turnover, which can be always tested on an aggregate level. So the assumption of the theory على individual behavioral سواء من ال employee أو ال employer أما ال productions are about ال aggregate relationship uh, So the, as we said in the uh, previous slide that the assumption of the theory uh, concern individual behavior of an employer will employee But the predictions are about an aggregate relationship between the wage and the turnover, which can be tested using the aggregate data. طيب, as we said, in uh, in uh, labor economics can be conducted on two levels. In positive economics, we already covered the positive economics. دلوقتي هنتكلم على the normative economics. يعني إيه normative economics? The normative economics is a study of what should be, and the theories of the social optimality are based in part on the underlying philosophical principle of mutual benefit. 
يعني دلوقتي احنا عندنا تو بارتيز اللي هو الامبلوير والامبلوي لو الاثنين مستفيدين يبقى انا عندي كده الاثنين جيننج ان ذا ترانزاكشن لو واحد مستفيد واحد خسران يبقى انا عندي في بارت خسران وبارت مستفيد يبقى انا عندي تو كايندز هنا اوف ذا ايكونوميك ترانزاكشن وان كايند از انترد انتو ا فولنتيرلي Uh, because all parties feel transaction again. They resulted in an agreement. I'm willing to make a, a consultancy service, for example, uh, for $50 per hour. We, the firm itself, in they are offering our consultancy firm itself, in they are offering the uh, willing in here to pay, يعني $55. If I want $50, they are offering $55. For me, it means that. The labor market transaction is beneficial for both parties. أنا والفيرم ديت. Where that the hourly wage had a bein إلا أنا كنت عايزة اللي هو الخمسين والخمسة وخمسين اللي هي مدية. يبقى معنى كده there is a mutual benefit. إحنا الاثنين we are gaining together. The other kind اللي هو إن واحد يكسب واحد يخسر. So the second kind of transaction is one in which One of the parties lose, and this transaction always involves a, for example, a redistribution of the income, from which some gains at the expense of other. So when I am referring to the market and values, I am trying to address the policies or the transaction from which all the affected parties gain. And that can be said to be very to uh, if improving because they promote very to efficiency that enhances social welfare. And this can be supported because all the parties who are affected by the transaction gain, or some parties gain and no one lose, or some parties gain and some parties lose from the transaction, but the gainers fully compensate the losers. يعني at the end there will be gainers mutual benefit حصلت إن the employer will employ the one gain, or one gain but the thing didn't lose anything. Or one gain and one lose will other who is the gainer compensating the who are being served. But this is called Pareto efficiency. However, the market can can face some of the failures that that causes the market failure, the ignorance. The ignorance people may be ignorant of some important facts that uh, are thus led to make decisions that are not in their self-interest. زي بالظبط ما كون أنا مدخن وكنت مثلا بشتغل في مصنع مصنع بيطلع chemicals أو هو بيستخدم chemicals مع التدخين بتاعي ممكن يؤدي إلى أن أنا في الآخر أموت. فمعنى كده أن هو uh, this uh, substantially increase the risk of the uh, having disease وأنا ما أعرفش أصلا. فده كده ده ده يؤدي إلى market failure my ignorance about the information اللي أنا مفروض أبقى عارفها. تاني market failure ال transaction barrier ممكن يكون there are some barriers to the completion of the mutually beneficial transaction ده مثلا يبقى في قانون قانون ده هو اللي بيبقى barrier يمنع ال transaction اللي ممكن يحصل ما بيننا. تالت حاجة ممكن تؤدي إلى market failure is the externalities the market failure that arises when a buyer and seller agree to a transaction that imposes the cost. وده اسمها negative externality or spell over or maybe on the other side مش negative تبقى positive أو beneficial which is positively externality spell over on people who are not party to their decision. فدي externality يعني هم بيعملوا ال transaction نفسه بس في third party who is not beneficial either ده هيبقى negative عليه او هيبقى positive عليه ده what causes a market failure so externalities can exist if workers have no mechanism to transfer their costs of being مثلا injured to the employer who should be responsible for their workplace safety فمعنى كده إن الـ externality دي هتعمل market failure. طيب، إيه تاني ممكن يؤدي إلى market failure؟ الـ public good. 
So the El government uh, um, can deal with the El public good. Eh, he also the public goods. In the next, they want to use the public sale, but they don't want to pay for it. And those are called in the economics the El free riders. So free riders' problem can lead to underinvestment in the provision of such goods or services, unless the government can compel payment through the El tax system. وطبعا عشان نعالج الفيلير ده هي الجفرمنت لازم تتدخل علشان ان هي تقدر تدفعه عن طريق التاكس سيستم اخر حاجه هنتكلم عليها هي البرايس ديستورشن the market failure that arises when the prices do not reflect the true preferences of the parties to the transaction special barriers to the transaction are caused by the taxes subsidies or other forces price control that create the incorrect prices whenever i do have like the incorrect prices which is not reflected by the true price يحصل price distortion يبقى دي كل ال different causes that can uh, lead to the uh, market failure and being away from Paris to uh, improving. Type is the solution to these problems. Uh, we are going to see it in the next slide. So here in this slide, we are going to discuss the normative economics and the government policy. So solution to the problem we already uh, have mentioned in the previous uh, slides. Uh, that prevented the completion of the Ill beneficial transaction frequently involved governmental intervention. Masalan zay repeal the law. For other types of the transaction barrier, government intervention could either compel or actively promote transactions that are different from the one that would be made by the market. يبقى معنى كده ان ال government intervention هي اللي بتخلي ال transaction ده فعلا ان هو يحصل examples طيب مثلا example عندي ال capital market imperfection capital market imperfection if workers find it difficult to obtain loans ال government ساعتها ممكن ان هي تتدخل ان هي تسهل لهم ان هم ياخدوا ال loans buying their promises to pay it back uh, حاجة تانية externality مثلا إن uh, ال parents ما يبوش مهتمين أوي إن هما يودوا ال uh, الأطفال المدارس ولكن a solution to this problem is that uh, in the uh, government had to require the uh, children here to stay in the school until they reach the certain uh, age فمعنى كده إن هو ال ترانزاكشن ده عمره ما كان هيحصل الا لما الحكومه تبقى فرضة مثلا عن طريق قانون ان لازم ال children دولت ان هم يبقوا موجودين في السكول لغايه certain age وده طبعا اسمه internalizing the cost اللي هو externality يعني to correct the market failure so now we are talking about the efficiency and equity. So efficiency versus equity. Efficiency and عندي دلوقتي الكفاءة وعندي الإيكوتي اللي هي العدالة. The social goal of more equitable distribution of income is often of a paramount importance to the political decision makers. عشان هما دايما بيقولش عايزين ال بقى في differences أو gaps عالية جدا في the distribution بتاع the income. They do think about the equitable distribution. However, the dispute here is whether the equity or the economic efficiency should be the prime consideration in setting the the goal itself. So the first source of the dispute is that there is not a unique set of transaction that are saying in the set D he is very efficient. Or the number of the different sets of transactions that can satisfy the definition of economic efficiency. But questions arise as to which set is equitable. The second source of dispute over equity and efficiency is deeply rooted in the problem that to achieve more equity. You are stepping away somehow from the Pareto efficiency, which must often be taken.
Well, uh, now we covered the chapter one and uh, uh, we will have uh, some of the applications on how the labor economists test the hypothesis. Then I'm good for Appendix A, uh, page 39. هنشوف دي uh, relationship between different variables زي بالظبط لما uh, for example يعني في الأبندكس ده عندي relationship between the quit rate and the wage we would expect that the quit rate of the employees will decrease امتى لما الويج تزيد هنشوف الكلام ده دلوقتي طيب زي ما قلت علشان اشوف ال relationship between the wage and turnover او ال quit rate او ان انا اسيب الشغل Uh, we الأجر بتاعي uh, we need to collect the data علشان أقدر إن أنا أشوف العلاقة ما بين ال two variables دولت زي بالظبط لما بقول إيه law of demand when the prices increase the quantity demanded decrease فأنا كده بشوف العلاقة ما بين ال quantity demanded وال price how to test or validate the relationship ديت إن أنا I have to collect first the data طيب this type of analysis إن أنا بشوف لما بقى فيه two variables uh, واحد dependent واحد independent this type of analysis is called univariate because we are analyzing the effect of one variable which is the wage on just another variable which is uh, the quit rate so the wage here is the explanatory variable and the uh, quit rate is the dependent variable So data is collected for this type of the test is called the cross-sectional data because they provide observation across behavioral units. Well, cross-sectional data دي بتبقى على over a fixed period of time أو بتبقى عند fixed point of time. يعني مثلاً بخدها أول السنة أو بخد الويجي طول السنة وبعد كده بيجي أول الويجي ده بتاع السنة دي. فدي اسمها cross-sectional data. طبعا في different types of data في عندي cross sectional data time series data وفي panel data وفي كمان pooled cross sectional data بس دول ال three main types of data ال ال time series data دي بتبقى observation that provided information on single behavioral unit over a number of time periods أما بقى ال panel data هي combination ما بين الاثنين ال cross sectional real time series which is called the panel data أو longitudinal data طيب علشان نشوف العلاقة ما بين ال average wage وال quit rate data uh, عندنا الجدول اللي قدامنا ده عبارة عن firms firm A B C D E F G H I J D10 hypothetical firms and these are the average hourly uh, wage paid uh, in dollars and uh, the third column is the quit rate as a percentage فاحنا لما نيجي نرى ال data هنرى ايه firm A ال uh, average hourly wage paid uh, for uh, dollars and the quit rate 40% for firm A Firm B, Bardu, average uh, uh, hourly paid in dollars is $4. Uh, and the quit rate in firm B is 30%. And so on. فاحنا بنستخدم ال data ديت بنطلع طبعا ال beta 1 وال beta uh, node. Uh, فالعلاقة ما بين ال quit rate وال wage طلعت ان ال quit rate equal 45%. The intercept minus 2.5 times the wage. So when the wage increase by one dollar, the quit rate will be decreased by 2.5 percent. فأنا عندي هنا وطبعا هنا ال R square is the significance of the model itself. لما نيجي هنشوف في next slide ده هنشوف هنقدر نفهم بالظبط آه العلاقة دي جت منين طيب الفكرة دوت shows the estimated relationship between the wage and the quit rate using the data in the previous slide اللي هي اللي موجودة في table طب حتى احنا هنا لو شفنا firm A هي firm A فيرم A عندي الـ uh, average wage بتاعي عندي كان 4 dollars per hour والـ quit rate بتاعها كان 40 
هنلاقي ان فيرم سي الافريج فيرم بي سوري الافريج 4 والكويت ريت كان 30 اقل منها شويه فديت عباره عن الويجز العلاقه ما بين ذا ويج ان دولارز بير اور والكويت ريت اوف ديفرنت فيرمز طيب ايه اللاين اللي في النص ده اللاين ده اللي هو الافريج لاين او الاستيميتد ريليشن شيب ما بين the two variables طبعا انا باخدها اون افريج فهنلاقي فيرم ابوف ذيس افريج وفيرمز بيلو ذيس افريج فده الترند لاين طبعا دي بت بتقول لي ان في الريليشن شيب ما بين بوث فاريبلز طبعا هنا انفرسلي عشان كده هو واخد خط اللي هو السلوب نازل نيجاتيف سلوب داونورد بالشكل ده ليه لان كل ما الويج هيزيد كل ما اكيد الكويت ريت المفروض ان هو هيقل فطبعا هنا دوت انفرس ريليشن عشان كده هنلاقي ان الساين هنا بالنيجاتيف فانا كل ما الويج بتاعي ده هيزيد كل ما الكويت ريت بتاعي المفروض ان هو يقل فهو كده inverse relation so this line عندي obviously لما ب... لو انا جيت وصلت وانا باخد الافريج ده ليه لان انا لو جيت وصلت تخيلوا كده خليني امسح بس اللي انا عملته ده كله لو انا وصلت اللاينز دي ببعض اوكي ادي مثلا فيرم A وصلتها ب وبعدين ب C وبعدين ب D وبعدين ب E وبعدين F G H I J ادتني ايه ولا حاجه ادتني زيجزاج كده مش حيا... مش هعرف انا العلاقه ما بين دي الافريج اورلي ويج والكويت ريت فانا لازم اعمل ايه لازم اعمل اون افريج فيجي الترند لاين ده بقى اون افريج ايه العلاقه ما بين الويج وما بين الكويت ريت فهنا عندي ادي البيتا نوت 45 يبقى انا ببدا من 45 فوق عندي هنا وعندي السلوب بتاعي ادي 45 والسلوب بتاعي هيبقى عباره عن ايه السلوب بتاعي هيبقى عبارة عن نيجاتيف اللي هو دلتا اللي تشينج في الكويت ريت اوفر اوفر اللي تشينج في الايه في الويج سوري ماي هاند رايتنج از سو باد اللي هو هيبقى في الاخر ايكوال هو ده السلوب 2.5 يبقى كل ما الويج عندي يزيد ب 1 دولار كل ما الكويت ريت ويل ديكريز باي 2.5% so this is the relationship between the wage وما بين the الكويت ريت طيب ريكابينج بريفلي اللي احنا لسه قايلينه دلوقتي على الجراف any straight line can be uh, represented by the general equation اللي احنا شايفينها قدامنا Uh, in y equal a plus uh, bx, uh, y دوت هو ال dependent variable, which is in our example the quit uh, rate, uh, equal a plus bx, and x is the explanatory variable اللي هي عندنا هي ال wage. a and b هما الاتنين دولت هما ال parameters او ال coefficient to be estimated. لو بنتكلم على parameters يعني احنا عندنا population, لو عندنا ال sample يبقى اسمها coefficient to be estimated. So, اللي هم عبارة عن the vertical intercept اللي هو كان 45 على الجراف and the slope اللي هو كان negative 2.5. So, we could model this relationship between the data in the table and the figure as follows: in the quit rate equal to the alpha node or the beta node plus beta one wi. Uh, plus the error. We the term the error ده اللي هو the error term or disturbance uh, uh, term. اللي هو the unobserved factors اللي أنا مش قادر explain it ومش شايفها بس هي بتأثر على the quit rate. But when the wage changes, the uh, unobserved factors doesn't change. 
و through this equation اللي هي equation two آه انا بقدر ان انا اطلع البيتا نود والبيتا 1 او الفا نود والالفا 1 بقدر ان انا اشوف كده اقيس العلاقة ما بين الويج وما بين الكويت ريت لو حطيت اي آه ويج انا عايز اشوفه هعرف استميت دي الكويت ريت نوينج بيتا 1 وبيتا نود طيب احنا ازاي بنحسب البيتا نود والبيتا 1 و use the least square regression analysis او least square method using the least square method بيستخدم ان انا بقى عندي الفيرمز الويجز الاورلي ويجز بتاعتهم والكويت ريت بقدر من خلال ان انا بجمع الداتا دي في الاخر ان انا using the least square method بقدر في الاخر ان انا اعرف البيتا نود والبيتا 1 طيب معنى كده ان انا عندي الانترسبت بتاعي الانترسبت بتاعي هو ال 45 فامتى يبقى الكويت ريت ايكوال 45 لما الويج بتاعي يبقى ايكوال تو زيرو اهي هنا وان ذا ويج ايكوال تو زيرو فانا عندي كده الكويت ريت ب 45 طيب طيب لو انا عندي الويج عندي دلوقتي uh, would increase for every one dollar increase in the wage will decrease the equity rate by 2.5 as we said before طيب افرض انا عايزة استخدم الاكويشن دي علشان to predict if the firm paid four dollars if the firm paid four dollars هلاقي ان ايه بقى الكويت ريت عندها بقى قد ايه لو paid four dollars يبقى الكويت ريت حاجي اعوض هنا بدل الويج هحط four dollars فالكويت ريت بتاعها هيبقى forty five percent يبقى knowing the beta نود والبيتا 1 قدرت ان انا اقدر احسب الكويت ريت لما اعرف الويج بتاع الفيرم ده طيب آه انا دلوقتي if the firm pay 18 dollars فانا عايزه احسب ال annual quit rate هلاقي ال annual quit rate في الاخر equal to zero we have to note that in the relationship between the wages and the quit rate cannot be assumed to be linear for low and very high values of wages this is very simple regression actually uh, and the ال ال estimated intercept low beta node يعني وال slope اللي هو beta one are only estimate of the true relationship and there could be uncertainty associated with these estimates uh, اللي موجودة في ال equation نفسها. طيب أنا uh, we covered already the univariate يعني كان variable واحد بس هو اللي بيأثر في ال quit rate فاحنا كنا مسمينه univariate analysis so the univariate analysis in the previous section assumed that the only variable هو بيأثر على ال quit rate هو ال wage rate بتاع الفرم theoretically there are many factors other than the wage rate that can influence the quit rate في حاجة كتير قوي ممكن تأثر على ال quit rate مش بس ال wage firm ممكن يبقى ال employee benefit ممكن يبقى ال working condition ممكن يبقى ال firm size ال age and the level of education ال training of the worker كل ده ممكن يأثر على ال quit rate uh, in the ال firm so if we assume that in في that in في other factors that influence على ال quit rate فمثلا يعني هناخد example زي ال workforce the age of the workforce ال average age of the workforce ديت هتأثر على ال quit rate مع ال wage نفسها بتاعة ال firm فانا لما اجي اعمل ال relationship دي هقول ان ال quit rate equal to beta node which is the intercept plus beta 1 wi طبعا beta 1 هنا ال slope ممكن يبقى negative او positive بس دوت طريقة كتابة ال equation plus beta 2 A I اللي هي ال average age بتاع ال workforce اللي هو بيشتغل نفسه العامل نفسه اللي بيشتغل 
سنه نفسه هل هو كبير ولا هو صغير متوسط السن بتاع ال work force بتأثر على ال quit rate and then plus the error term أو ال disturbance term اللي هي unobserved factors that I can't capture or I can't see. Therefore, they مش بنسميها univariate analysis لا بنسميها multiple regression analysis علشان احنا ما عندناش بس variable واحد هو اللي بيأثر على ال quit rate لا we have different variables maybe I can add more uh, ممكن احط مثلا دي firm size ممكن احط دي employee benefit يبقى انا عندي beta 3 وال variable الثالث ممكن يبقى عندي ال working condition يبقى beta 4 وال variable بتاع ال working condition ممكن ال level of education يبقى beta plus beta 5 وال level of education and so on so I'm capturing how many variables that is uh, affecting the quit rate and this is called the multiple regression analysis so we took both the univariate analysis without be a few variable واحد بس اللي هو x اللي بيأثر على y انما multiple regression analysis هما ال uh, independent variables are x1 x2 x3 whatsoever how many x's that all affecting on the y وبكده يبقى احنا كده خلصنا الابلكيشن اللي موجود في الابندكس اللي انتوا المفروض تبقوا عارفينه مش هناخد الاوميتد فاريبل هنوصل لغايه هنا بس وهنبتدي نحل يعني زي ما احنا حلينا some of the how to substitute في الايكويشن علشان اقدر اعرف الكويت ريت و لما ابقى عارف الويج بتاع الفيرم ديت جود لك ستادي هارد اند سي يو ان ذا نيكست فيديو ثانكس فور ليسننج اند اي هوب ذات يو ديد انديرستاند ذا هول كونسبتس وي اوريدي ديسكاست ان ذا بريفيوس سلايدز Uh, if you have any question, please uh, let me know uh, via email, the uh, university email, and I'll be very welcome for any question uh, you have uh, and try to solve the uh, in problems uh, associated with the chapter. على طول. إحنا already أصلا يعني uh, uh, some of you handed the uh, questions there. Uh, and there will be uh, some of the test bank have a fee sample the answers for some of these questions okay uh, good luck and uh, see you in the uh, next lecture